Welcome to Swan's Japanese Horror Reviews, episode 9. Today we're talking about Takashi Meike's slow-burning 1999 classic, Audition. Audition tells the story of Aoyama, a man who has previously lost his wife. Seven years after her death, Aoyama's son urges uh, him to try and find a new wife because, let's face it, he's not getting any younger now that he's in his middle age. Uh, Aoyama talks to a friend of his who's in the film industry who says, well, here's an idea, why don't we hold a phony audition, you know, and try to meet girls that way for you. Um, Aoyama, nice guy as he is, goes along with this uh, sexist plan, and eventually he does find a woman. Of all the girls at the audition, Aoyama is entranced by a woman named Asami, who uh, is a very frail and quiet, soft-spoken girl who was once a ballerina, but because of some injury she had to stop. Um, he becomes obsessed with this girl. Aoyama's friend warns him that he's taking things too far, too fast. And he urges him not to call her or make too much contact with the girl. But Aoyama, in his blind pursuit of Asami, can't seem to shake her. And he finds himself thinking about her all the time. Eventually, his world and hers collide in what turns out to be one of the most dramatic and uh, shocking endings of any film. The first half of Audition, or at least the first hour, is uh, very slow deliberately slow, um, and some may find complaint with this in that the film actually might seem a bit boring to some people. Um, and I suppose that is true. I've had some friends who've uh, watched this with me and, you know, they couldn't stand the film. Um, they just wanted to get to the ending to see what happens. I think the ending is made all the more powerful, though, by um, allowing yourself to get caught off guard because you've been so entranced by the slow-moving nature of the film um, that once it makes the jump to a downward spiral into madness, that it's all that more effective. Of course, uh, the story is greatly helped out by all of the uh, performances of the actors and actresses. Ryo Ishibashi does a great job as the main role of Aoyama. Um, the actress who plays Asami, um, who's pretty much an unknown, she doesn't do that many movies, she's only been in a few, um, did a fantastic job. Um, and the supporting characters are great. Um, the dialogue is fantastic. On, when you rewatch the film, you'll actually notice things um, that connect to the main story that uh, didn't really, you know, seem to make any sense the first time you watched it. Little comments about uh, fish. Of course, watching Audition, uh, one comes to notice the different themes of uh, what is this film actually saying about society? What is it saying about men and women? Um, is the film sexist or um, is it actually portraying women in a much stronger light and role? Um, uh, once you watch the whole movie, you'll see. Um, and that's great. You know, you can watch this and get many different interpretations. It's certainly there um, to see both sides of the story. Aoyama, he's a nice guy. Um, he has a nice family, but uh, he does go along with this very sexist idea of holding an audition to meet girls. And his ideal woman is very um, subservient to him. So what does this say about men and women, the relations? The movie is all about that. Um, not just with Aoyama and Asami, but um, there's uh, Aoyama's son and his girlfriend, uh, the office worker that Aoyama works with. There are plenty of little uh, side stories and connections to the main plot, and it all adds up for a great story. Audition is kind of a love it or hate it film. Some people love it, like myself, some people hate it. Um, I personally think this is my favorite movie that I've ever seen of any genre, of any country, from any director. Um, I love the pacing of the film. I think it's made so much more effective by having the slow, um, virtually safe pacing of the beginning. Um, I love how when you can rewatch it, you can notice things you didn't notice the first time. Um, Takashi Miike did a great job directing this. Um, there's solid performance, solid music, solid pretty much everything. The ending um, is where all the gore comes in and the violence and the bloody stuff and uh, that does not disappoint. The DVD of Audition was released by Lionsgate Films and they did a superb job bringing this out. This is the uncut special edition. It's got a lot of bonus features. Um, there's some interviews with Takashi Nikkei. He does a little uh, introduction to the DVD explaining people walking out on the film. Um, there's a Bravo's 100 Scariest Movie Moments when this one made the top 100, I think at number 11 or so. Um, there's a little commentary on a few select scenes by Takashi Miike. Would have been nice to get the whole film, but what's there is nice. The DVD also features an interview with Ryu Murakami, who wrote the original story audition, so it was great to see his input on that. Um, there's an image gallery, I think some trailers perhaps, so yeah, um, lots of nice supplemental material on here. And uh, the presentation, uh, video, sound-wise, all great. If you're a fan of Takashi Miike's work, I strongly uh, recommend checking out Agitator, The Cinema of Takashi Miike by Tom Mez. It's a great uh, book that is uh, pretty much solid reading for any Miike fan. Uh, it goes over a lot of his films up to 2003 in this edition. Uh, Audition is one of those movies that's either love it or hate it. I happen to really love it. I think that um, 
Some people find it to be overhyped and that the violence at the end doesn't really uh, amount that much to other Mike films. And in some ways that's true, it's definitely hard hitting but not some of the worst stuff he's done. Uh, but for me this is a great film, um, it's fun to watch, it's got a lot of social commentary. I think it's excellent, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. The DVD I'd probably give an 8 out of 10. It's got a lot of great features, could have had a little bit more but uh, what's there is awesome. So yeah, Audition is a film that definitely needs to be experienced and I recommend everybody out there who considers themselves a Japanese horror fan check it out. See you next time. Kitty 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 kitty. Ah!